Hello, I'm Mike with this week's new and trending AI tools that you cannot afford to miss. Let's get straight into it. And first of all, a recap of the week. It was very busy for me. I've just got back from IBC in Amsterdam, where I met Premier Gal, Leela from YouTube, also the Boris FX team, AI developers such as Suhail from Firecut AI, and Zara and Aaron from Chopperty, one of my favorite web-based video editors. But with that aside, I caught up on a lot of Adobe news as well, and they gave me early access to the Adobe Firefly video model. I've been playing around with it uh, for a few days now, and I'm pretty amazed at what it's able to create. It's still really early days at the moment, and I think it's yet to improve. We're going to dive in and have a look at it now. I think it's really good at extensions to photos and also abstract stuff, but it could probably still improve in realism and physics. Now, while I get started, I'm going to put in a prompt here to say I would like a cat chasing a red laser dot around a living room and click generate so you can see in real time how long this generation is going to take. Here's the first prompt I did. A cinematic slow motion sequence of a fluffy cat leaping gracefully through a sunlit forest. Whoa, that's actually not too bad. Now I mentioned it's good at extensions. You can upload photos. I uploaded this photo of Isabella, uh, my wife and business partner, and whoa, that was... um quite an interesting result that I got back. I also tried some other things inspired by some of the demo videos I'd seen, such as drones flying around volcanoes. I tried to prompt for a drone flying through a mist-covered mountainscape at sunrise with lightning hitting the camera, and I think it did pretty well. It's also really good at text, such as Mike, with the dynamic ripples and reflections going on there, and we also did Mike here with some growing vines and flowers around the text, which is pretty good. The abstract stuff here is pretty good, swirling colourful paint droplets, kind of clearing in water, looking very nice indeed. We've got northern lights here, and I can see my generation in real time has just finished, so let's have a look at this. This, I don't know what it's going to look like. Let's play it back. Whoa, that's... Uh, <laughs> That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Uh, there are lots of lasers and it's pretty swirly and psychedelic. I wasn't expecting that. I did try to prompt on real places such as Prague. That's a place I've just come back from. And actually, I think it did Prague Castle really well at twilight. You can see I selected the zoom out for this. Uh, it looks like it has a train running through the water there, though. So maybe not quite perfect. Then we got a litter of kittens waking up and all yawning at the same time. When I talk about it being a little bit better at physics, well, this cat gracefully leaping from one piece of furniture to another kind of looked like it, it, it kind of levitated there a bit, but you get the idea. And then there's a sleepy golden retriever dreaming of chasing squirrels. And as it zooms out, you see those squirrels all around that golden retriever in the forest. So I got early access to Adobe Firefly video. The model is pretty good. Like I say, it can improve with realism and physics, but I'm sure that's going to come in time. And I think with other things that we've seen earlier in the year previewed, such as Generative Extend for Premiere Pro, this holds out really good hope for use cases such as that. Now, if you'd like to get access to Adobe Firefly video yourself, there is a beta waitlist and you can sign up right now. I will post the link down below in the description to this video. I highly recommend you click the link, read the blog post and get yourself on that beta waitlist because hopefully it won't be too long before you'll be able to try out Adobe Firefly video for yourself as well. Now, moving on to other things that are exciting me this week, and I did mention I got back from Prague. It was a lovely break with my wonderful wife, Isabella, and I met the N8N team. Now, what is N8N? I have mentioned it before on this channel. I did a tutorial on it, and you can check that video out showing on your screen or down in the description below. Now, I actually got to meet some of the N8N peeps, and they're absolutely awesome. Bart, Oleg, Max, and others at the meetup there in Prague in the Czech Republic, absolutely awesome. And I did see some demos that I was really, really interested in. So I wanted to share them with you and show the potential of this tool to build anything you can think of. So here on my screen, I've got the workflow, but first of all, let's actually test it out by activating Siri. Tell me what you can see. So Siri activated my screenshot tool and is now analyzing the image using an N8N workflow. The image shows a serene, water-filled canal lined with historic buildings and houseboats under a clear blue sky with scattered clouds. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's try again and look at it executing inside N8N in real time. Tell me what you can see. And this time we've screenshotted Prague Castle. Let's see what comes back from the workflow that's now running. 
The image shows a picturesque view of Prague Castle and St. Vitus Cathedral, illuminated in the evening against a backdrop of a blue sky. That's awesome. If you can't wait for Apple intelligence, this could be your answer. Let's try one more time. Tell me what you can see. This is a photo taken of me on a beach with an Adobe hat on. Let's see what comes back. The image features a person taking a selfie while smiling, wearing sunglasses and a hat, and standing on a beach at sunset. Pretty clever stuff. So, I can't claim responsibility for this automation. Oleg, an absolute AI genius at N8N, created this, and I just followed his slides to recreate it in my own instance. So, without getting too techy here, what is actually happening? Well, I've set up an Apple shortcut called Tell Me What You Can See, and when I say that phrase to Siri, it activates my shortcut, which is here. Let's take a look at it, which takes a screenshot, encodes it, sends it off to N8N, and gets Siri to speak back the contents of whatever was in my image. So what it is doing is converting the image, sending it off to a large language model such as OpenAI. I've also got Olama here though because you can use something local such as Lava if you've got that set up on your system. And then it responds with the result that then Siri reads to me. Super clever stuff and just a small example of what's possible with NA10. Before we move on, let's try one more slightly tougher example. Tell me what you can see. And there I have screenshotted my finder window. Let's see what comes back from this workflow. The image shows a Mac OS finder window open to the downloads folder, displaying various files with details such as name, size, kind, and the date they were added. Now, you can imagine if you're more specific with your prompt, you could get some really detailed stuff, even feedback on code or a project you're working on on your screen. So, pretty cool way of smartening up Siri. Now, let's move on, and I want to shout out Max, who's a senior developer at N8N, really inspired me with something he's doing right now called a 30-day AI sprint, creating useful workflows that can help you do amazing stuff with AI in N8N. Now, I've started a new workflow, and I'm actually going to import from a file and you'll see here flux json is there now don't worry about this this is a big workflow but max has done the work on creating this i'll post a link to download and import this workflow yourself if you're interested in using it in n810 but essentially it gives you free access to flux one of the most advanced image generators and all you need to do is populate it with a few credentials to make it actually work now once you've added your own credentials to max's fantastic template you can actually go to the web form it generates here and use Flux Schnell or any other Flux model. So I could say Donald Trump riding a unicorn. And then I'll choose a style, which again is inside the NA10 template. I'll just go for the first style, the hyper surreal escape, and submit the form. And within moments, Flux is very fast and the NA10 workflow is fast. Look at that. It is indeed Donald Trump riding a unicorn. To use the generator again, I just simply refresh the page and say a beautiful beach at sunset and then choose another style such as AI dystopia maybe let's submit that form and within moments we'll get a free image generation from Flux on our screen like this. Boom and there's our AI dystopia beach at sunset. Pretty cool stuff isn't it? It's also completely free to use Flux thanks to this brilliant template from Max. You just have to put in a few credentials such as a hugging face API and also access to Amazon S3 or free storage on somewhere like Cloudflare using R2. All of that is detailed in the tutorial that comes with this template. So I suggest you sign up to N8N using my link down below and then download Max's template so you can try this all out for yourself. And I have to say I've come back from the meetup in Prague super inspired and ready to build some of my own AI workflows. Pretty cool tools, Adobe Firefly video coming soon and the brilliant AI based stuff that you can do with N8N. I wonder what you'll create. Let me know if you've got any ideas for a super duper AI based workflow in the comments down below. And if you want to go further down the rabbit hole with N8N and learn what this brilliant tool is all about, I suggest you watch the video that's showing up on your screen now. It's also linked down below in the description and enjoy it. Really, thank you so much for watching. I'm grateful that you come every week for these AI updates.